I'm Mentorissium, and this is an update about World War K2, or Season 3, or whatever it is, if you count the fact that I kind of made a two-season thing earlier. This is like World War K2 was in the new thing. Um, anyway, uh, just an update that I said it would be out February, and I was aiming for sort of mid to late February. Um, however, there's a number of things that have come up that meant it's going to be delayed slightly. And by slightly, I mean probably next Friday, so early March, or if worse comes to worse than the Friday after. So it won't be any more than two weeks delay from now. But I um, just felt that, you know, I did say it would be for, uh, February, so I kind of wanted to apologise and explain why. Um, now, firstly, I switched networks in early, mid-February. Um, I switched from being Curse, uh, who were great, by the way. No, no bad words to say about them. It wasn't an issue with like them being bad or anything that I left. I, I thank you very, them very much for making me an awesome channel, and well, at least, you know, they didn't make me an awesome channel, I guess, but they, 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 were, they were there, and then they allowed me to be an awesome channel. Um, but yeah, I moved from Curse to Polaris, who some of you may know because they have some small names that I guess you may have heard of, like Total Biscuit and Dodger and Jesse Cox and Angry Joe and PewDiePie. So yeah, just some small names. Um, but yeah, I've moved over to them, and that took up a bit of time, and then additionally I had a lot of problems with KSP in that it was crashing a lot. And also, ships were randomly exploding. I never figured out why, but I did manage to fix it. I'm not exactly sure how I fixed it, but I fixed it. And I guess at the end of the day, that's what matters. Um, so now KSP is all working beautifully. It's probably because I put so many mods on, uh, it was crashing every like minute or two, which made it difficult to capture footage. But it looks pretty, all these 8K textures. Anyway, um, so yeah, that, that also delayed it somewhat. And also, I probably should have, I don't know, started earlier or something, or made a better schedule or something, I don't know. I'm, it's, the reason it's taking so long is that the first episode of World War K 2 is a cinematic. It's not a normal World War K episode, as you may have seen them before. This is like purely cinematic, just to set the scene for this new phase of World War K. And it's gonna contain like CGI, lots of post-effect shots, I think pretty much every shot actually is, uh, needs to go through post-production for effects because, uh, well, it's the limits of the game engine, isn't it? To make things look prettier, I'm trying to push them through things like After Effects and so on afterwards to make them look prettier. Um, so that's taking up a lot of time. And this is basically why it's late, because I didn't schedule it properly. Um, I was switching networks and because KSP bugs, although to be fair, KSP bugs nearly always happen. You kind of can plan for them. Except for the fact I didn't really plan for a week of my ship just exploding. That was weird. Hmm. Anyway, um, so yeah, it'll be... I was planning on maybe today, as in last Friday of February, but there are a couple of things that I still need to work on, and it looks like it'll be next Friday, or at worst, the Friday after. Just to keep you updated. Uh, I'm dreadfully sorry. I, When I say it'll be out February, I really try to mean it when I say those sort of things, otherwise there's kind of no point in saying anything. Um, so, I'm really sorry. I decided it probably be better to get something completely and utterly awesome out the door later, by a week or two, than have something crappy going out the door now, because I want to kind of make this awesome. I don't want to make it a half-hearted attempt. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it right. Um, and I decided that most of you would, you know, probably appreciate that. Also, there's a car smoking outside. That's going to be very helpful. Um, however, a couple of you have been kind of so looking forward to it, apparently, that you've been kind of kind of dicks about it. Um, that, there were comments appearing on videos from like the 3rd of February onwards saying, It's February, where's World War K? Well, back then, the obvious answer is it's the 3rd of February, I said it's February, so... Also, if you ever want to actually know updates or anything, follow my Twitter. YouTube kind of sucks for this sort of thing. I mean, the only way to really get in touch with you over YouTube properly is by putting a video out, like now. And you mostly sign up to my channel, I guess, to watch my videos, not to watch videos about where my videos are. Like, that's meta content, and I guess, kind of, I don't want my channel to be about my channel, I want my channel to be about games. So, I want to make videos like this, pretty rare. Um, so yeah, if you actually want to know stuff, follow my Twitter. But yeah, some of you were also being really kind of rude. Not many of you, like, I must, like, emphasize this is a really small, like, minority of maybe, well, I've got, what, 50,000 subscribers, so this is maybe, like, 50 maximum, probably a lot less, 
So, very small percentage. But it's not acceptable to be rude, disrespectful, especially when I'm working really hard on this. <laughs> you can understand how that really pisses me off. Um, so, there's kind of like a rule in my chat section that some of you may not know about, which is, well, basically Will Wheaton's law. Don't be a dick. Um, I actually try to read all the comments. I read pretty much every comment that at least Google tells me about. I don't trust Google 100% these days because Google can be special. Um, but I try to read all the comments. So, yeah, if you're being a dick, I kind of see it, and then I will probably either tell you not to be a dick, or mute you, or if you're being really bad, like in cases of like extreme racism, etc., blah, 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 or just racism, it doesn't really need to be that extreme, uh, I will just ban you from the channel. And then you can enjoy no videos. So, there's that. So, just play nice, guys. I mean, this is just a YouTube channel after all. At the end of the day, I mean, for me, it's a life, like, living. It means food for me. It means electricity bills for lights and internet. Lots of internet. Um, but just, for you, it, it is just a couple of videos. Admittedly, awesome videos. I, I hope you would think they were awesome. But you don't need to take it quite so vehemently. Um, <laughs> But yeah, if you want to follow any updates, just follow my Twitter in future. Uh, or possibly the Facebook group. The Facebook group is tend to be for more sort of discussion-y, longer form stuff. There's also a subreddit, apparently. Someone can post it down below. Um, but yeah, uh, play nice. Sorry it's going to be late, but it will be out next Friday or the Friday after. Uh, the other reason it's delayed is because finding audio stuff, especially when you're doing like cinematics where you're using CGI and so on, you need lots of audio stuff to go in the background. That can be really difficult when you're trying to find them royalty free because I can't afford to spend 50 bucks every time on a sound effect. Um, but my Polaris network stuff comes with Audio Micro and Audio Micro is this big database of sounds and stuff that you can use for free provided you know you've got a network like uh, Maker Studios who are the main overarching network behind Polaris and RPM and so on. Um, and you can basically get free access to sound effects. So one thing I'm really looking forward to is actually being given that access, which hopefully I'll be getting soon, because that'll allow me to basically not have to spend days searching for audio tracks that I can use. So that will really help uh, the actual, you know, process of making World War K2. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm dreadful so it's going to be late. Um, however, because it's going to be slightly later, and I'm sorry, if you want to see some not completely finished, I will just say, uh, stills from the coming episode, I will attach them at the end of this video in a sort of a slideshow y type thing, and you can look at them and admire how gorgeous they are and try and infer any plot you want from them. I will probably try and keep plot away from them, and I'll try and keep the most awesome bits out, just so that, you know they're safe for the actual cinematic. But if you actually want to see that sort of stuff, keep watching the video. Uh, I'm just going to end it here because I kind of said what I need to say. And as always, you know, follow me on Twitter, etc. Blah, blah, blah. And I hope you enjoy the episode when it comes out in a week or two. Probably a week. Uh, depends how much you've got going on. Other than that, stay shiny. And yeah. Hope you enjoy it.